Hi, my name is Daniel Spar. I'm CEO for Stream Analyze, and we're making stupid things smart. This wheel loader is a mile below ground in a mine and is only hours away from breaking down. However, thankfully, there is an AI model deployed directly onto this wheel loader, notifying the driver that he or she needs to get above ground. Being able to meet up with a service crew who can quickly get them back into operations, saving tons of money. However, getting these kind of models out onto wheel loaders or on any kind of device like this has traditionally been a very slow, cumbersome, and thus expensive process. Thankfully, using Stream Analyze with our platform installed on these kind of devices, getting these kind of models out there has become much easier and a lot faster and thus much cheaper. We provide a software platform that sits directly on chip that allows AI models to be built and deployed across massive fleets of edge devices. We combine essentially three dimensions, creating a unique platform for the market. One is we have a tiny footprint. This allows us to be able to install it into very, very small devices, but also essentially any hardware device out there. Secondly, we're user-friendly, so it opens up for others than just programmers or data scientists to be able to build and deploy these kind of models, but also for engineers and analysts, widening the, the perspective of the domain knowledge that you have in your organization. The third is we are a full end-to-end -end platform where the convenience of the cloud allowing you to quickly deploy models directly onto device without any firmware updates speeds up the time to market substantially. And today, there's no other platform that combines these three dimensions, making us unique. We can also boast some pretty substantial numbers behind this as well, saying we are the smallest end-to-end -end AI platform in the world, being 5,600 times smaller than AWS Greengrass, for instance. And the benefit of being using uh, edge analytics, you are reducing the amount of data that you're transmitting to the cloud rather than doing a lot more onboard analytics, getting 10,000 times your data reduction, saving loads of money for your company. We are also showing some extraordinary speed where using our platform, running uh, inference, you're two times faster than TensorFlow Lite, one of the industry standards today. And using our platform and developing these kind of models, you're also 60 times smaller in terms of the code that you have to develop thus improving your maintainability of these kind of models. And last but not least, we have unparalleled time to market being 20 times faster than doing this with embedded programming. Combining this with the previous slide, we already have an opportunity being the software platform for the entire Edge AI ecosystem. Looking at a little bit of our architecture, this is what it looks like. So if you see on the far left, we install our platform either directly on a sensor or many times often directly on an asset. This can be a vehicle, this could be a machine, this can be a small kind of device. And what we do then is we also have an installation centrally, either a, on a server or in a cloud. And this is never our cloud. We don't provide this. This will be our client or our partner's cloud or server. And then that connects our studio that you see on the right, which is our development platform for seeing the data, building the models. So once this is up and running, what this allows you to do now is based on all any sensor that is going on on that device or uh, asset on the left, we can see this on our front end on seeing and understanding what's happening to that device. And then using our studio, we can actually build these models and deploy them directly out onto the assets instantaneously without having to do firmware updates. And this whole cycle now goes on. So now once we have this installed and you're, you have models out running in production, you can actually maintain those models and update them as they're improved, pushing them out across the whole fleet. And as you see on the right-hand side, this is, can actually open up to, to a large amount of your, your organization, and particularly those with domain knowledge. And the real benefit, as with any edge analytics, you're only streaming, you're streaming up results off of the assets, reducing the amount of data that you need to store, process, and keep really locally and or centrally in your cloud, reducing the amount of, of um, your, your cost for your, your cloud compute that you actually pay for. 
And if we break this down, we have a few different products where two of them are central. One is our SA engine. That is really, uh, you know, that is the, the big engine that, that does the magic for us over all these different devices. So this is what we install either on the sensor or on the asset. And then we have our SA Studio, which is our development environment where you, you see the data, you work with the data, and you build these models. Then we have two add-on services as well. One is SA Federation Services, which is used for integrating uh, our SA platform into our client's environment and integrating with their backend systems. And then finally, SA Staging. SA Staging is used for uh, simulating massive fleets of your devices with newly developed models before you actually deploy them into production, making sure they work and they also will scale accordingly. One of the unique things here that we want to highlight is, and that we talk about is the time to market. And what we see on the left is the normal way that you see edge analytics is done today with embedded software. Usually the new models you want to deploy will be following the normal software cycle. Uh, a good example that we have is we're working with a, a forklift provider and they would update the software on their forklifts twice a year. This was in February and in August. So getting out a new model onto there would could only be done twice a year. However, what we do, and this is, you know, enter stream analyze on the right, is we untether that uh, software development cycle with the analytics cycle. So once you have our software de deployed on directly on your devices, now you can build models and update them and deploy them whenever you like on the fly. You see in the bottom side, we talk about two years to market. This is based on some of the customers we've been working with. Getting from end to end for their whole development process to getting something into production, take two years to actually get that to happen. It will take months to actually do updates to those models. And oftentimes it couldn't be done over the air, but it had to be brought in to a, a to, uh, directly to the actual service station or something like that. Whereas on the right-hand side, we see that it takes weeks to actually get things deployed and updates can be done instantaneously and rolled back, which is really brilliant if you maybe by mistake have something that's not really working out there in production. We support a pretty broad perspective of, of models, anywhere from mathematical statistical models to machine learning models, but also neural network uh, models. Many times you develop models already using, for instance, TensorFlow. These can be used with our platform and deployed directly onto the devices. But it also allows you to not just run the neural networks, but also do orchestration around it. It can be pre-processing, post-processing, understanding, interpreting these results before the data is actually sent off the device. And uh, what we see here is this opens up a larger amount of different models that you can do. So this is the full end-to-end -end platform for your developing any kind of analytics you'd like to do on your devices. We've actually had a lot of success uh, in the market and a lot of business traction already. Uh, we work a lot within uh, the automotive sector, but also within industrial and smart tooling, uh, but also within manufacturing and partnering with semiconductor companies today, opening up a pretty broad perspective of use cases. Typical use cases is often predictive maintenance or monitoring of, of uh, devices or machines out uh, across the world. Uh, but it can also be used for product development, understanding how are our products or our assets actually behaving in real life, getting that kind of feedback, feeding back into product development, but also allowing to add new features and services directly onto these uh, devices or products. Lastly, in the use cases, one thing we do, which is very unique as well, many of these models, the AR models that are done today based around IoT are based off of physical attributes. It can be temperature, vibration, camera feeds, uh, you name it. But what we can complement this with is financial models, opening up uh, paper usage models, smart contracts, asset monitoring, or asset uh, residual values on assets and things like this. Uh, so example is uh, one project that we worked on uh, regarding uh, lawnmowers is being able to enable smart contracts directly on these lawnmowers, allowing the, the uh, company to move away from selling just lawnmowers to actually selling mowed lawns. So you, you move to the actual service rather than just the product. And 
we don't have to offload that data. This can actually be run directly on the device as well. Our business model is selling licenses. Uh, we do not build models. We provide a tool for your organization who has that domain knowledge to build these kind of models. We do support you in, in terms of doing it, but it is primarily up to, to you as a client to be able to do this. And we sell licenses for our four different products where SA Engine is the one that will scale according to the amount of devices this is installed on. So the more you buy, the cheaper it gets uh, per installation. A couple of use cases. Uh, just to exemplify some, some, some good numbers here. We have a, one of the manufacturers of forklifts uh, wanted to better understand the usage profiles they had. They had actually developed some models for this already. Um, but using our, our tool and installing this directly on their forklifts, they could actually improve these models by getting feedback on how things were actually behaving. First of all, they would the way they've been done doing these models before is they'd offloaded all that data. Now a lot of this model, pretty much all the data, could stay onto the forklift and reducing the amount of data that need to be transmitted off the forklift and stored by more than 99%. The second thing is they could improve the accuracy of these models by iterating off of what's happening in, by through federated learning of understanding what's happening in, out there on the factory floor by 52% improving their time to market and time to improvement. Second one is a tier one automotive, automotive manufacturer who does security products, uh, safety and security products for, for the vehicle industry. And what they're doing today is in production, they actually do physical inspections to be able to make sure that they're maintaining the quality of what they're producing because in the end they're saving lives. Uh, but by doing this, they would either use a magnifying glass and uh, have a somebody in, in, in the line organization to actually review uh, what was actually happening uh, when they mold these airbags or have somebody with earphones listening to the seatbelt as it's retracting, understanding is it, does it, is it sounding the way, does it look like it should? And this is easily introducing human errors. Industry Analyze, with our platform, they can automate some of this process by now listening automatically to the, the seatbelt retractor, uh, using a camera, visually inspecting this actual discharger on the airbag, thus improving the speed that they can produce these things by 100 times. So the time to, you know, they're, they're improving their overall operational process substantially. One platform for Edge AI. So we take out the data center and we move it into the fields, what we're talking about. Some of the market challenges we see by, by you know, of trying to, to do, to address these kind of use cases that we've been talking about is, it's prohibitively expensive. So a lot of the data is being offloaded and it costs to transmit it, it costs to store it, it costs to process it. By pushing this out onto the edge, you're saving a load of money. The second one is, you know, this is not a new concept. So introducing analytics on the edge is something that companies are trying to do, but it's a slow development process. It's also then inherently expensive. So you want to address it. How can we speed this up? So it actually is something that can be as convenient as doing this on the cloud. Uh, the other, the third thing is we're often relying on data scientists or programmers to get this actually implemented. And these have become a scarce, you know, not product, but a scarce skill uh, because these skills are actually very specialized. So if this can become uh, democratized, then it, and particularly in the hands of people who have domain knowledge of the different products or uh, tools, then this can actually uh, improve the overall process uh, substantially. And so thus, you know, there's a long time to market and it's often built in the lab rather based on reality. What we provide then is we can lower your data and energy cost because we reduce the consumption of data in storage uh, that you have centrally and doing all this on the edge. It also allows you to iterate on the fly very quickly so your development cycles are 20 times faster as we addressed before. And we empower the organization so more people who really have the domain knowledge of these their, their end products, usually engineers or analysts, can actually build the tool, you know, the, the models as well. And we see that it's really, really fast in terms of implementing, but also to update and, ma and maintain, because the one thing we know about AI is these models are in their initial stages. They want to be improved quickly and reiterate. So fail, fail fast, I would say, or improve quickly. 
And you know, so you get feedback with our tool because it's interactive. It allows you now to bring in um, knowledge of what's happening on these assets and, and, and the products from the field, not just from a lab. So you get what you would call federated learning. So you're improving your models based on true cases of what's really happening to the products in the field. Quick study here, uh, it's a fork, yet another forklift manufacturer. Um, just showing the amount of you know, savings that we've seen, you know, by offload, not having to offload all your data. You look at the cloud analytics, you know, typically they're spending anywhere from 290 to 630 euros per forklift by uh, offloading the data and processing the data because all this costs money. Using stream, stream Analyze, we can reduce this down to one euro. So you see there's a substantial amount of money to be saved by not offloading your data uh, from your devices. So to try and sort of round up, you know, some of our solution benefits, we're enabling AI at the edge and, you know, not just in, there's, there's others that can do this, but we do this on very small devices. Um, we can do this essentially on any device out there. Uh, it allows you to iterate on the fly, uh, so you can quickly get your, you know, fail fast, try things quickly, and then quickly get this deployed into um, production. But also because our uh, code base or, or the amount of, of lines of, of scripts that you need to write using our tool is so small, the maintainability is very, very high combined with this iterative way of working. And also, you know, having being able to open up your organization so both analysts and engineers can use it as well means that, you know, it becomes something that democratizes AI across your organization. Uh, it's completely agnostic, so it's not dependent on any other software, any other hardware, any other operating system. It allows you to, to deploy this and redeploy it as you, your, uh, your end devices actually evolve as well. And it also, finally, it unlocks new business models, saving money for you, but also opening up new revenue streams as well. I hope you found this interesting. We're Stream Allies, and we're making stupid things smart. Thank you very much.